He has certainly lived a fascinating life. Mike Rowe is best known as the host and executive producer of the hit show Dirty Jobs. But there's so much more to this guy that you probably don't know. And he's telling it all in a new book called The Way I Heard It. Mike Rowe joins us now. How you doing? Meryl? Living the dream, thanks. How are you? I'm doing great, thanks. All right, so I'd love to hear some of the early stories uh, from your career, like how singing at a barbershop quartet launched you in show business. <laughs> I, had a, I had a high school music teacher, like Mr. Holland in Mr. Holland's Opus, you know, one of those guys who could just take you by the scruff of your neck and, and, and change the course of your life. He, uh, his name was Fred King. He cured my stutter. He introduced me to music. He introduced me to a cappella, four-part harmony. He, he got me into a play. He got me into the opera. I sang in the Baltimore Opera for, for eight years. And up until that point, I had absolutely no interest or no facility or no idea that any of those tools would ever be in my particular toolbox. And look at you now, right? Way leads on to way. You know, you really, you really don't appreciate those moments in your past until you, until you live long enough to look back at them and say, wow, if not for this or that, you know, I spent three years on the QVC cable shopping channel selling things in the middle of the night to a narcoleptic and codependent audience of lonely hearts. <laughs> I never talked about that for decades, but looking back at it, honestly, Meryl, every useful thing I learned about television. I learned trying to sell Hummels and collectible dolls and fake diamonds and <laughs> Amcor negative ion generators and all of that stuff. It was a very strange time. I love it. I hear we have Paul Harvey to thank for this book indirectly. Paul Harvey, yeah, I mean, I was a, a huge fan of the rest of the story. You know, he used to write these great biographical mysteries about famous people and his listeners had to figure out who he was talking about before he got to the end and said, and now you know the rest of the story. Uh, that's what inspired the way I heard it. And it's funny, when, uh, when the podcast really blew up, I got a letter from his son, Paul Harvey Jr., and I thought, oh man, it's going to be like a cease and desist order or some injunction or something. But no, he said, look, my, my father is looking down on you, giving you two thumbs up, and Paul Jr. also included with his letter a check to the Microworks Foundation, a very generous check. So, wow. yeah, Paul Harvey inspired the book and the podcast. And look, I'll never fill his shoes, but it's an honor to, uh, to walk in his footsteps. One of the things we learn in the book is the strangest year in your life so far. Tell us about that. Well, that would have been 1992. And by night, I was a, uh, a salesman on the QVC cable shopping channel on very thin ice. I was fired three times from that job in three years, by the way, <laughs> and, uh, and spent all my time there on a kind of double secret probation. But I lived, I lived in a mansion. I was a caretaker on a giant estate on 300 acres in Westchester County. And that mansion, in fact, I lived in because the woman who inherited it was convinced that it was haunted by the ghost of her father. <laughs> and so she, she didn't want to move in right just yet. So she sent me in to deal with the unwanted presence of her dad. And so that's what I did. By night, I sold products that I didn't understand. And by day, I wandered around in a daze in a purportedly haunted mansion. Yeah, it was weird. <laughs> for sure. That's just one of the fun stories that we can hear in the book. Thank you so much for joining us. It's always a pleasure to talk to you. Anytime, Meryl. I appreciate it. All right. The Way I Heard It is available now in hardback, ebook, and audiobook.